Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon of Creative Glam. Thank you so much for joining me today. And Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. So today I'm going to share with you my classic horizontal happy planner flip through and set up for 2020. It's going to be my version of a transformer planner. So let's get started. I hope your new year is off to a great start. I hope you have all your goals and plans in mind and written down. Uh, I am currently in the process of not only setting up my new planner, my new happy planner for 2020, I'm also in the process of updating my vision board. Stay tuned for that video because that's to come. So this is the uh, Pastel Dreams planner. It is a 12 month planner. Uh, it is a horizontal layout and I got this from Michaels. Normally when I'm picking a planner, I usually go with horizontal. I prefer the horizontal layout because I have a lot to write. I, I write a lot. So I need the additional space for writing. Um, so I've always done a horizontal planner of uh, this is my third year, fourth year. This is my fourth year for a happy planner, but I've always had a business planner and I currently use and, and, and then I switched over four years ago to the happy planner. I use it all year and I use it every day in some capacity. These are the plastic rings as you see, you don't see the uh, pastel plastic rings. I will be changing that. Uh, so I'm just going to flip through this planner and then I am going to take some of the things that I enjoy and use and want in my current planner, my 2019 planner. I will be taking those things and switching them over, transforming my 2020 planner, personalizing it. And really that's all transforming means. A transformer planner is that you just personalized it with bits and pieces from other planners to create the ultimate planner for your daily use. So let's flip through this one. Let me move all of this out of the way. I also picked up some stickers. The wrong wrong stickers I picked up and I got some additional paper because as I said earlier I write that much and I will be using the uh, Ron Ron stickers in my next plan with me so make sure you stay tuned for that okay guys so this here is pastel dreams uh it says 2020 will be great amazing wonderful awesome colorful magical and happy yes it will as i said there's bits and pieces in here that i will be using and that i won't be using but i just wanted to take a look i loved this 2020 and 2021 calendar I just love these pastel colors. There's something about it that just works for me. Uh, I tend to, I've noticed that over the, as I said, this is my fourth year and I've noticed that the pastel colors in the horizontal planners tend to draw me. Um, so I love that. I think that's really pretty. And this is an hourly dashboard that they have up here. I like that. And then it has your dashboard for important monthly goals and important dates and notes. Sometimes I use this section and sometimes I don't. I tend to be more of, I'm a, I'm a list girl. I enjoy, I enjoy making lists. I find it necessary for brain dump purposes that I create lists. And I think that's one of the reasons that I use my happy planner so much is because I've got to get it out of my head. And I find that I also like to put it in places where I can see it all at once. So this, I could see myself utilizing this a lot. Uh, I think that's really pretty. This one may stay. Uh, and that's mostly what will be changing in this planner are the dividers. So this is your January monthly planner. Ah, but this is why I purchased this planner. And I liked the pastel colors that they used on the pages. I just think that is so pretty. That's what drew me in. It works for me. So let's look at February. Don't quit your, don't quit your daydream. I like the quote but I'm not crazy about this. I'm not crazy about it. 
And then what does March says? March says, outdream yourself. Again, I love the quotes. I just don't like, I just don't like the background. Not crazy about it. Um, and that was March. Kind people are my kind of people. Hello, good times. I'm partial to the ones with the gold and silver foil on it. Look on the bright side. You're a limited edition. Daydreams and ice cream. That's cute. This is cute, but it will be changed. Be kinder to yourself and then let your kindness flood the world. Now that's pretty. I like that one. And then that's December. It was not my intent to get a 12 month. It was my intent to get an 18 month planner. But when I looked in and saw the, the, the bones, the inside of the planner, I decided to go with pastel dreams. And I'm going to just have to transform it and make it into what I need it to be. And I keep 12 months in at a time. I don't do quarterly or change it out that way. Um, I don't find that necessary. I just put the whole year, even with an 18 month planner, um, I will keep the entire thing. Well, actually, even with an 18 month planner, I did take out the extra months. I keep a year at a time, January through December. That works for me. I love this cover, so I will continue to use this cover. Um, I prefer it over the pastel dreams. I am going to take January out. January 2018 yeah. and then I'm going to take each month and replace it. So sit back and relax. I'm going to turn on some music as I transform my 2020 planner into the ultimate transformer planner for me. original cover the grace upon grace which was the faith planner and I believe this one was for 2017 I believe that stays it's also like a dashboard a mid-year dashboard and I will also probably be keeping this one here for July I think that's pretty I just need to put my name in here and I'm gonna gold foil that I'll let you see that when I do my next plan with me and then this is January and then this is February this is March This is April. Mm 
this is May. This is the only month that I think I kept the original, the dashboard that goes with Pastel Dreams. And that's June. And that's the first six months. This is my six month dashboard. Um, and then this is July. And that's August. That's September. That's just another dashboard back there that has my specs for cameras and green screens back there. And then this is my vision board. This is my vision board fold out for 2019. I do mine. As we speak, I have a poll running asking people with, uh, whether or not they will be doing a 2020 vision board. I will. I do one every year. I used to do it biannually, but now I just do it annually. Um, it is something that's very private and I don't usually share it, uh, but I, I'm considering doing that this time, so stay tuned for my 2020 vision board video. And that's it, guys. This is my new Franken planner for 2020. I love it. And I love this cover much more. I'm going to store my 2019 planner in here, uh, and I take them and I file them away. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. We're all done. I have now created the ultimate planner for me, a transformer planner for my classic horizontal happy planner for 2020. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it this far into my video, Click one of the video links at the end to see more creative glam and crafts. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.